Hi students, how are you? I am very happy to be back in front of you once again. Today we are going to learn about conversation skills 1C. Today we are going to learn about conversation skills 1C. In the previous lessons, we already learned converse, conversation skills 1A and conversation skills 1B. So now, we are studying about conversation skills 1C. That means, this would be the last in the topic of conversation skills that means we are going to complete one topic okay now here let us see the subtopic is giving instructions and directions giving instructions and directions so instructions and directions are very very important for us instructions and directions are very very important for us now, if you could see in this chart that I am holding for you, you can see some pictures. We can see some pictures. Now, that means we can give instructions through pictures very well. We can give instructions through pictures. So, we can see here pictures. There are four pictures you can see. See them clearly and note them. So, these pictures give us some instructions. When we want to give some instructions through pictures also, we can give instructions and guide people. But, if we want to write these in instructions in the form of sentences then they will be written as they will be written as turn right throw garbage here cross here down litter so, if we have to write them, then that will be written in this way. So, that means, what do we learn here now? We see that we can give instructions through pictures. By drawing pictures, we can give instructions. By keeping hoardings on the way, we can give instructions. So, that means by in the picture form, we can give instructions in the picture form as well as we can give instructions. We can give instructions in the picture form as well as in the written form. We can give instructions through the pictures always as well as through the written form. So, we have to notice this point. So, we can give instructions through the pictures and instead of that, we can write them also in writing. So, in this way, we give instructions. Now, for example, now let us see here. If we see here, here, there are some words. So, if we spell these words, these words, okay, these words can be written in a negative form. So, by writing them in negative form, we can give negative instructions. We can give negative instructions. That means, the root form of the words to the root form of the words when we add a negative word 
then automatically that can become a negative instruction. For example, see here, post, drive, jump, play, talk, shout, cry, read, type. So we have few words here. So we can give, we can give instructions positively as well as negatively. Suppose I can say to the office, <coughs> to the office person, okay, to post the letter. So, in the same way, I can say to the driver, drive the car. I can say to a child, jump the huddles, jump over the huddles. So, I can say to him, I am instructing him, I am training him. So, I can instruct him or a PT sir can okay, train his student while training, he can give order or he can instruct saying, you jump the hurdles. So, in the same way, play, talk, shout, cry, read, type, these all can be positive instructions and they can also be negative instructions. How can they make, how can we make them into negative? By simply adding the negative of do form. By adding the negative do form, we can simply make these words into negative. Like, see, don't post, don't drive, don't jump, don't play, don't talk, don't shout, don't cry, don't read, don't type. So now I paused negative instructions. So, now in activity 1A, now this is activity 1A, this is uh, dealing with uh, the instructions. So, primarily we came to know that instructions can be in the form of pictures and instructions can take the written form also. That means widely we use written form but uh, often we also use pictures instead of the written form. So, this point we have to keep in mind. So, pertaining to that, we have done activity 1A, okay, by making all these instructions into negative. If we can make them into negative by adding a negative do form, that is don't. Now, let us see about the activity 1B. We have done activity 1A. Now let us see activity 1B. What does it tell us? Observe the following clue words and prepare instructions. Observe the following clue words and prepare instructions. Observe the following clue words and prepare instructions. So, that means we have to observe the following clue words, some words were given here. So, then we should make them or we should prepare instructions. That means we can make a positive instruction and we can also give a negative instruction. For example, let us see here number one, helmet. It is talking about, number one is talking about helmet, wearing a helmet. So, in sentence A, we can write positive sentence and in sentence B, we can write negative. That means, we can make a positive sentence and we can also make a negative sentence. For example, see here, use helmet when you drive a two-wheeler. Use helmet when you drive a two-wheeler. So, the same, that is a positive statement telling about wearing or 
the use of wearing helmet the purpose of wearing helmet it tells us so now we can make the same thing into a negative sentence by little bit changing the meaning of the sentence for example see here don't drive without wearing a helmet don't drive without wearing a helmet don't drive without wearing a helmet that means both of them give the same meaning but a little difference in the sentence structure and in their conveyance but they give the same meaning what we talked in the first sentence the same meaning the negative sentence also gives so in this way we can do this exercise for example now here second one is library third one is road fourth one is mobile fifth one is shop so with these remaining four words you can write sentence a and sentence b sentence a should be positive sentence b should be negative so in this way you can just write down this exercise so that we can examine later okay we did activity 1 a and b now we are going to do activity 2a that is prepare instructions and requests using the q words q words means clue words or hints q words means clue words or hints q words means clue words or hints so we are doing now activity 2 for example you see here q words q words are nothing but clue words or hint words and we see here instruction we see here a request that means they have given some q words and with the with the help of this q words in each number we have to write one instruction and one request the first one says the first one says as an example or let us say it is an example get and book we have get okay noun sorry verb and book noun so one verb is given and one noun is given here that combination of verb and noun with this we, we can make one sentence now see instruction get this book from the library get this book from the library it is an instruction it is an instruction someone is instructing his subordinate to bring book from the library okay that can also be said in a formal way instruction we can say it is an informal way and now request is a formal way so we can say this instruction in the formal way as a request that is could you please get the book from the library could you please get the book from the library could you please get the book from the library so with the help of this example i would like to advise you to complete these five clue words making 
them into instruction and a request. For each one of them, write the instruction as well as write the request. Okay. And the next one is activity 2B. I am going to tell you. Activity 2B. Activity 2B for us is that now you come across many co-ops, cooperative markets, supermarkets or different okay, shops you can find sachets like okay, making soup sachets okay, and powder sachets and different kinds of sachets you can find them okay and you find instructions on that because you can make different kinds of uh, drinks or you can make different kinds of uh, foods and desserts by reading the instructions on the sachets for every particular sachet there will be instructions on that and accordingly you will use that sachet and the content in that and you will try to prepare okay your precepts so now you can read them and you can make them in the same way now i request you to write some instructions for making tea for preparing tea you just write some instructions maybe four or five sentences you can write you write five or four sentences how you can make tea you just instruct how one can make tea or how people can prepare tea you please give some instructions okay maybe a small passage with five or ten sentences then keep up with your notes okay now we are moving to activity 3 i am going to show you activity 3 this is activity 3 this is activity 3 you can see here okay now here it was said match the following pictures with the directions match the following pictures with the directions now in column a we have pictures in column b we have directions like uh, take second right turn right make a u turn go straight etc you have some signs here opposite go round so roundabout so in this way you have some okay directions here you just match the correct direction with the correct picture Underneath this picture, you have some brackets like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, in that brackets, you put the particular letter or particular letter you put in front of the numbers. On that basis, you can match the following pictures with the right direction. So, this is another activity, you please do it. And next, we are going to another activity, fourth activity here, we can see here. You can see a map here. You can see a map here. In this map, you can see you can see 
some locations here you can see some locations here teddy toy store somo supermarket park babu's play school swimming pool bus terminal vegetable shop fresh fruits kim's gym baker's magic coffee shop now by showing by looking at these pictures in this map okay this is a landmark okay so you can mark different you can make different markings on this map you can find different landmarks so with the help of this diagram or map you can give some directions you can give some directions here so now i am going to okay instruct you what you have to direct i am going to write them then you can see those instructions those exercises and you give answers to the questions that were asked that means if the question is given okay you have to write the answer that means the answer will be directing you will be directing somebody to the right location so in this way you can write the answers okay just now we have discussed about the map and the landmarks in that map so with the help of those landmarks on the map we can lo locate different locations we can lo locate different locations so basing on that we can do activity 4 what what does activity 4 tells us read the following map carefully and give directions using hints from below so there are some hints below so using those hints or using those words we can answer the these questions that are here five questions are there asking us to find the direction so see here now turn right or left go past take second right or left opposite cross the road etc now in this activity the first question <coughs> is kiran is at the bus terminal he has to meet his friend ajit in somo supermarket give him directions mentioning landmarks to reach ajit this is the first question for the first question i am telling you the answer for the first for the first question we can say like this take right and move left cross the road and go past the park and there you find somo supermarket once again take right and move left cross the road and go past the park and there you find somo supermarket so in this way we can tell the answer for this so i request you to give on i request you to give me the answers for these remaining four questions that is second one sujit is at coffee shop she has to pick up her daughter at babu's play school give her directions third one rajan is at somos supermarket he wants to go to kim's gym guide him 
ఫోర్త్ వన్ సుచిత్ర వాంట్స్ టు గేవ్ టు ద స్విమ్మింగ్ పూల్ ఫ్రమ్ ద బస్ స్టాండ్ గివ్ హర్ డైరెక్షన్స్ విన్ ఫిఫ్త్ వన్ వినయ్ ఈజ్ ఎట్ బేకర్స్ మ్యాజిక్ హీ వాంట్స్ టు టేక్ వెజిటేబుల్స్ గివ్ హిమ్ డైరెక్షన్స్ సో స్టూడెంట్స్ ప్లీజ్ write the answers for the remaining questions and now i am very happy to tell you that we have successfully completed conversation skills 1a 1b and 1c so i like you to do these activities often in your free time and try to develop your thinking ability and grasping ability by going through all these activities and by remembering all the important functions of the language so that they will really give you a good fruit in your later life because whatever you sow now you will reap later if you sow now something good in the later life of yours you are going to reap them plentifully bountifully so please keep these things in mind these things in mind and you please go through all these things whenever you find time so that your skills will be improved and you will have a satisfaction in your life for whatever the knowledge that you would acquire or will acquire now one topic is completed from unit 3 so afterwards we are going to move forward for the second topic in unit 3 thank you